How's it going guys? So really quickly before this video starts, I wanted to ask you a question. So down below pinned comment, I'll make sure it's actually pinned this time. Um, there's a poll. Um, you guys have been asking quite often for a little bit longer rebuilds, not necessarily longer in terms of video length, but you guys are looking for around five seasons. So if you guys want to see five seasons, um, I'll still try to make it, you know, 40 to 50 minutes long per video. The thing is those first season or two, like those first couple seasons, they're probably going to be, you know, Hey, let's talk about the roster, what we're going to change. Here's the changes. Here's the end of the season, just so that we can get through those next three seasons where we really see the growth, where we really see the management of contracts, where we really see the changes within the team. So I wanted to keep this short. If you guys do want to see, you know, longer rebuilds in terms of more years down below, there's a poll. Make sure you go and check it out. Go and vote. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you hit the like button. Peace. How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Seattle Mariners. If you guys are excited about the video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know which team to rebuild next. So also in the description, there's all my social media links, Twitter, all that good stuff. Also my Twitch channel, go and follow that. We've been doing some fantasy draft franchise. We've been playing some Diamond Dynasty. I usually am a little bit later on at night. So if you guys ever just want to hang out, you know, talk about franchise, want to talk about Diamond Dynasty, whatever it is, go ahead, give that channel a follow so you guys are notified whenever I do go live. So getting into this video, there there's a couple things I want to do with this team. You know, Seattle Mariners were pretty hot, you know, to start the season, homered in their first 20, 19 games, something like that. And um, the record is pretty solid, too. You know, they're definitely off to a good start. So let's talk about this roster a little bit, see how things are going so marco gonzalez you say kikuchi all right okay pitchers you know one and two to start not too bad mike leak um not too sure about kind of a bigger contract um wade leblanc aging player probably going to start to decrease and felix hernandez another player with a bigger contract that i'm not too sure i'd probably keep around just because of the age the overall and the potential um you know they do have Doug, justin dunn justice sheffield so a couple prospects to you know be excited about but starting pitching needs a little bit of help kind of similar with relief pitching not too many players here that get me excited where i'm like yes i need them to stay in my bullpen same with the closer spot so pitching definite area for concern closing spot or not closing catcher you know omar navias is decent he usually hits about high 70s low 80s so we should be good with a catcher First baseman, we do have uh, Ryan Healy. Edwin Encarnacion is probably good for about a season or two. Um, nothing past that. Um, Ryan Healy could also play third, so we could also just find a new first baseman. D. Gordon, not too bad. See potential, though, so he's pretty much capped at where he is. We do have Shed Long, so he might feature in this rebuild. Kyle Seeger is another player with kind of a bigger contract that I'm not too sure I want to keep around. So it depends on if I move Ryan Healy to third or keep Ryan Healy at first. We'll need to find someone to, you know, a first or third baseman. Um, short stops. I know Tim Beckham started off the season really hot, but I don't really see him featuring in this rebuild for too long. Um, JP Crawford's at the point where I don't know if he'll stay either. 62 overall just probably won't grow fast enough to get to an overall where I'm happy. Um, Domingo Santana's good. Malik Smith, perfect. Mitch Hanniger, solid. Um, Jay Bruce is probably the only outfielder that I want to get rid of. Every other outfielder, I'm more than happy with um, staying in the lineup. So really, a lot of players could be moving, get a little shake up come season two, season three. But for right now, I'm kind of worried about pitching, um, maybe finding a shortstop without deep potential. So let's do that and get this rebuild started. First trade we're making is Mike Leak and Luis Liberato for two bullpen arms and Kelvin Herrera and Aaron Bummer. Aaron Bummer usually is a long reliever i usually put him there based on the stamina he's got a small contract and he usually hits about the mid 70s by the end of season one low 70s by season one and he develops quite nicely um so i'm like i like that one we also get rid of that contract of mike leak all right we're going to the yankees for dd gregorius 29 years old 82 overall um does hit free agency this year but um we're getting rid of tyler danish as well as Dan Vogelbach, who I've actually heard has been hitting the ball pretty well to start the season, along with Kyle Seeger. So we do get that shortstop, who should be good for the next three years or so. 
um and that way we can actually kind of open up some salary as well which is good to good good to hear you know we we need that salary space so we are in need of some starting pitching and it was between carlos martinez and uh luis castillo so to make this luis castillo trade work we'd have to bring on tanner roark um which isn't was isn't horrible you know we get a pitcher for a season it it kind of fills up the the starting rotation but i feel like it's a what a year difference um quite a bit overall difference as well so we're gonna go carlos martinez for jay bruce and jp crawford um i i want a pitcher who i can rely on for the future we do have kikuchi we do have gonzalez but this is gonna be our ace for the future all right we're gonna sign seiji you by yashi um japanese player you know obviously ichiro just left so i figured you know what we kind of do need a backup outfielder we'll see how he does over the next couple seasons um that way we you know we, we actually have kind of a backup bench bat which is what which we which is what we've been lacking um i've been kind of looking at different trades and stuff we really don't have a trade that'll work so this is going to be the team to start season one you guys can see it on screen now um tim beckham is going to be our third baseman i was looking for a, a replacement but i just didn't really find one that you know really worked um with the trades that I, I like for the players i wanted to trade so we're gonna leave it like this um we might move Didi gregorius up a little bit higher in the lineup but overall i'm pretty pretty happy with what we have here you know for season one kind of like a feel out season see how things go see who does well see who doesn't um we should be okay um the bullpen a little full but again probably needed um so we'll see how it goes and let's get into it. I'm pretty excited to see how things go. So, um, yeah, see you guys at draft day. Already draft day, and we have the 19th pick. All right, let me see if I notice any players, um, and I'll show you guys who they are. If not, we'll get into the draft. This guy was one of them, Larry Brady, the catcher. His projected stats and even his current stats look really good right now. Uh, we don't have him scouted, but our first pick is going to be David Sanchez. Um, the other players that I have, like the rest of the players that I have remained scouting that are like 80 potential, I'm not too interested in them. Just the way they look don't look too good. Um, I'll show you them. Rick Typer, like he was like the closest one I'd come to drafting. Um, Albert Portillo looks okay. Um, and then Jeff Leach, eh, and Danny Clifton. Danny Clifton was another player I considered. Um, since he is still available, I'll take him. I just wasn't too sure on the rest of the players. They just didn't really catch my eye. We're gonna take Randall Schaefer because I like his current per nines. Um, they're not too far off his projected per nines, which is a little scary. And that's why I don't think he's gonna probably be too high of a potential player, um, but we'll see. We're gonna take Jeff Redmond, starting pitcher, 22. Um, we got two more picks. Um, I don't know. I am I feel like a little optimistic. But every time I feel optimistic, it usually goes down pretty poorly. So I don't really know what to expect out of this one. We're going to take Michael Shipley here. Um, his projected stats look pretty good. Um, so that's why I kind of like him. And then our last pick is going to be... I really don't know. Basically, whoever looks okay. Um, his per nines are pretty low, so I don't think he's going to be that good. But I think we'll just take him anyways. So let's go see what let's go see what these draft picks look like. Alrighty, so overall, a solid first four picks. You know, high 80s on every single one of them. So our first pick was David Sanchez, um, B potential, 65 overall. That's uh, 89 potential for the future. That's good. Danny Clifton, 70 overall, 87 potential. Um, stamina looks good. His per nines, mid 50s at the age of 19, is pretty good. Um, so he should only grow a lot like his his per nines are only going to get better and at 50 overall for most of his per nines that's solid next one 86 potential 68 overall randall schaefer his per nines even like are better which is awesome to see so we're going to sign him up definitely and then the last one jeff redmond at 61 overall uh was 87 potential his per nines are a little bit lower but still pretty solid um the last two picks were pretty bad um but I'm pretty happy with the first four picks. You know, these these starting pitchers, you know, give us some prospects for the future. And also this center fielder actually looks decent. 
Contact numbers are pretty high. Um, decent fielding. Um, 42 is a little low, actually. Um, the arm is not bad, but the speed is really nice. So draft went pretty well. At the deadline, we are 10 games out in the West, um, a 54 and 56 record. Eight games of the wild card. To be honest, probably where I expected us to be. You know, I, I mean, we're, we're at a point where I'm just not too sure how the team's going to be. I feel like pitching was my biggest concern going into this. And it it kind of shows, you know, three of our four, three of our five starters are over a four ERA. Wade LeBlanc's not doing too poorly. Marco Gonzalez isn't doing too poorly. Um, and then looking at the bullpen. Yeah. Kelvin Herrera's doing all right. Swarzik's doing all right. Ross Cup's doing all right. The rest, though, big, big question marks. So I'm not, not too sure about the bullpen and the starting rotation. But looking at the team, okay, all right. So decent averages. You know, Mitch Hanniger, two, 237, a little bit disappointing. But good, good offensive numbers, which is good to see. You know, like D Gordon's hitting 281. That's that's great to see. Um, 320 on base percentage. Malik Smith is almost hitting 280, which is awesome. Edwin Encarnacion's going down, but he's still hitting about 274, 276 from Domingo Santana. Awesome. You know, I wish Mitch Hanniger's numbers went up a little bit, and that's that's really about it. Everybody else is hitting the ball pretty well. So um, we might make a trade for a bullpen arm if we can find somebody. The issue is a lot of our pitchers have C potential, and you know they're low 70s. So I don't really know if we could get anybody too great we might just have to wait till the off season to make a couple moves um pick up a couple players um i'll see if i can do anything if not it'll just be the end of the first season um i don't think i've ever traded for this guy um we're getting rid of two players who i probably wouldn't bring back next year in strickland and roscup um they're you know they're 30 they're mid 70s c potential we're gonna pick up a mid a mid 70 overall b potential 26 year old and carlos estevez Another player we're adding is Connor Sadzik, who 27 years old, under 60 overall, isn't going to feature in the rebuild. We get a bullpen arm that a little bit younger, um, isn't in the majors right now, but uh, a little bit younger. Also, one of our better arms already, and it should only get better. And looking at his per nines, besides his walks per nine, pretty solid. Alrighty, 74 and 88, obviously not the best of seasons, but... Um, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, Malik Smith finished with the most triples, and D Gordon had the most hits. Um, it's not the best. We finished last. You know, um, just the record isn't good. I kind of hoped it was a little bit closer to 500, but overall, I think it's 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 a starting point. You know, definitely room to improve. But um, I was I was expecting a pretty rough season, season one. But you guys can see D Gordon actually hit very well. Um, he's got one more year on his deal. And then Malik Smith is up to an 81 as well. 270 though. Wish it was a little bit closer to 80. Um, Edwin probably won't be coming back. He'll probably want a little bit too much more too much money for me. Um Domingo Santana is gonna be our left fielder. He he hits the ball very well and he should go up in rating. Mitch Hanniger has gone down a little bit. Had a rough season. I expect him to bounce back. D. Gregorius had a really good year. 301. Um Tim Beckham held the same. Which is good, you know, an okay year. Omar Narvaez is going up, which is awesome to see. He hit the ball very well. And Ryan Healy is going up. So he's probably going to be a player that sticks around. Um, he's gone up a little bit. He had a pretty good year. Um, I'm going to call him Seji. So he might be a player I bring back. He might be, a, you know, our, our DH or bench back going forward. And then the other guys, you know, they're okay. They're okay. Uh, Moore and Taylor. So looking at the rotation, Carlos Martinez. Yikes. Um, a five ERA is not good. You know, his whips at one five. That's it's just too high. That's way too high. Kikuchi, I need better stats out of you. Need better stats out of you. You know, your whip is one seven five. That's yikes. Yikes. Um, Wade LeBlanc, not bad. Not bad. Um, Marco Gonzalez, not bad either. Aaron Bummer, a little high on the whip in the ERA, but um, he's going up. He's going to get better. So, you know, I, I trust. I trust in the process. Corey Guerin. Eh, Alta Villa. Mm. Estevez has gone up though. He's gone up three ratings since we picked him up. A 390 ERA. Okay. 
Tui Valala at the five and a one six five whip. A little high. Kelvin Herrera's whip is at one, a three two seven ERA, which is awesome to see. And Swarzik is going down in overall, which you know makes me a little worried. You know, at the age of thirty three, he might continue to go down. But a good ERA, a decent whip. Overall, not a bad year for him. You know, Herrera as well. Let's take a quick look at some of our prospects. Um, Sheffield's up to a 66. Dunn's up to a 65. Bullpen doesn't look like too... I don't remember there being anybody. Um, Art Warren was a 61. I saw that. Evan White is up to a 65, which is awesome to see. Shed Long, 67. Um, Noel V. Marte is at 59. And then looking at our center field, this is where we kind of have the bulk of them. Brayden Bishop, 65. Jared Kalanick, 65. Kyle Lewis 65 so okay all right Julio Rodriguez 59 so a couple a couple names couple like a little bit of growth here's a playoff picture let's go with the twins see how the twins do um Red Sox defeat the Cubs in the 2019 World Series um heading into the offseason we're gonna have to definitely make some moves um make the staff a little bit stronger as well but yeah I'm kind of excited to see what we can do with this team in the offseason so let's get into season two Alrighty, so the two players are offered a contract where Kelvin Herrera and Didi Gregorius for exclusive negotiations. The other players are kind of at an age range where I'm not too sure I want to offer them a contract. Didi Gregorius was another player I was, wasn't sure about. 30, 81 overall, but um, he had a good year, and um, I'm hoping he can continue that for at least one more season, and if need be, we can always get a new shortstop. Alrighty, so the top six on the on the screen right now had arbitration offered to them, along with Narvaez and Tui Valala. The other two, I'm not too sure about. Like Tim Beckham, he didn't hit poorly compared to his last, like like basically compared to his entire career. It's just 30 years old, D potential. I don't think he's gonna hold that. Contracts wise, um, the only one I see here that probably won't get one is Bradford. You know, everybody else. I could see yeah i definitely see getting one so let's uh let's get into the contracts get into the free agency off season stuff like that i'll see you guys for season two Alrighty, season two is going to be starting with a trade with the tampa bay rays for yoni chirinos um 84 overall 26 year old for darren giles gillis um brayden bishop and then um the big piece i mean brayden bishop's a pretty big piece but also Justin Dunn. We need uh, starting pitching. There weren't any like really good starting pitchers um, in free agency this year. And with the way we drafted last season, we picked up a lot of good free age, uh, a lot of good starting pitching. So our starting pitching farm system is actually pretty solid. So we need actually one more. I said actually way too much in that that like whole setup. Um, we we still do do need one more starting pitcher. Looking at our bullpen, we picked up Tanner Scott in uh, the Rule 5 draft, as well as Sean Gil Martin from Free Agency. So the bullpen, a lot stronger already. I like the way it looks. Um, we picked up Will Smith as our big free agent acquisition. S uh, locks up the closing spot. He's uh, you know just turned 30. He's at a good spot where you know we have like three years of him before he starts to decrease. Kelvin Herrera came back. Um, on a, a pretty good contract, three million, not bad at all. So overall, the team's looking good. We just need to find that uh, fifth starter. The lineup, a lot of people grew. Dylan Moore grew what eight overall in one off season. We picked up Joe Smeal Pinto as a backup catcher, um, but we do need a couple bench bats. We do need a couple, uh, like yeah, we do need a couple bench bats. We do need a starter. When you look at the team. You know, you can see Danny Clifton's one of our higher rated pitchers. We have Michael Adams who has signed in free agency to kind of fill up the the, the roster. But we have Max po, uh, Poves, uh, Randall Schaefer who we drafted. We have Justice Sheffield, um, Logan Gilbert. So we do have some starting pitching prospects. We even have Matt Festa, Joey Gerber down there for relievers. Um, these two guys here. So... Um, when you look at the rest, though, we don't really have the bench bats. And that's kind of where I'm not sure about. Shedlong really isn't ready to come up just yet. Um, we signed Zhu Wei Lin from free agency. But when you look at the rest, you know, we, we kind of don't have any bench bats. And we don't have that fifth starter yet. So we need that fifth starter and a bench bat. Let's get to it. 
Alrighty, for bench bats, I decided to go to free agency, sign them to one-year deals, Wilmer Defoe and Matt Dominguez. Figured one-year deals, you know, it allows some of our prospects to develop in the farm system a little bit longer. And then for a pitcher, I went to free agency again. We picked up Gio Gonzalez on a one-year deal. Um, I just feel like we have pitching prospects. We have a solid bullpen, it looks like. The lineup, you know, we have decent players already. I don't want to go and just like trade away our farm system when they could be ready to play next season. So that's what I'm kind of looking at. We'll see how season two goes. I'll see you guys at the deadline day. Alrighty, at the deadline day, it's actually going very well. 65 and 44. We're just a game behind the Angels. We're, you know, we have the second spot for the wild card. Things are looking great. Let's see how the CPU handled at the draft. 59 overall starting pitcher with 94 potential Jesse Logan. So again, we, uh, holy cow, the draft. I just looked at everyone's potential. So again, we got another pitching prospect, which is awesome to see. We have a 65 overall 88 potential catcher with some power. So that's like the first time I've ever seen a catching prospect do well. We picked up Pedro Ortiz, 70 overall 86 potential closing pitcher. So the CPU handled the draft very well. And then two other catchers with good potential. 40s, 40 overalls though. So you can see 43 overall for Alexis Valdez and 41 overall for Eli Ramos. But catching, you know, now we're set. That farm system set. We picked up another starting pitching prospect. We got a closing prospect. Um, uh, Joseph Cora. I almost said Jose Cora. Joseph Cora, uh, 71 overall. Um, and 71 potential isn't bad. We'll let this guy go, Brett McCain. But overall, very solid draft. We'll take a quick look at the team, see how everyone's doing. Carlos Martinez has definitely bounced back. Um, Marco Gonzalez is a, a phenomenal season. You know, good whip, good ERA. Kikuchi, 1.2 whip. Uh, you know, it's, yeah. ERA is dropped, which is awesome. Yoni Chirinos, 3 ERA, 1.2 whip. Okay. And then Gio Gonzalez. He's gone down a little bit, as expected. You know with the age but even his his numbers aren't that 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 bad you know the 1.4 whip okay a little a little high but still decent numbers looking at eras these two guys are not doing it you know high whips as well the bullpen tui is having a good year very good year sub one whip one era awesome gil martin the free agency pickup whips a little you know 1.2 is usually about you know that point where it's like okay that's average you kind of want it below that ERA 1.5. All right. Estevez. Yikes. Uh, Herrera. Okay. Good. Good. Solid numbers. And same thing for Will Smith. So the pitching has definitely, definitely picked it up. Um, looking at the lineup as a whole, Malik Smith maybe should be our, our leadoff hitter. You know, he's definitely swinging a hot bat right now. Mitch Hanniger is having a bounce back year, which is awesome to see. Ryan Healy's hitting the ball very well. Same with Domingo Santana. Didi Gregorius, you know, 270 almost. Still doing all right. He is starting to go down, though, so he might be a player I look to trade. He probably still has some value in him, um, so we could get a, another shortstop. And then looking at the bench, the bench is actually doing quite well. So let's see if we can find a new shortstop. I was kind of hoping Didi Gregorius would hold just a little bit longer, but it's not looking like it's going to not gonna not gonna happen so let's find a new new shortstop and i'll be back in a sec Alrighty, eugene helder gareth morgan and then obviously didi gregorius for jorge polanco i don't think i've ever traded for him 26 years old 80 overall can play second and third as well hitting the ball quite well actually um his stats look good you know he's 26 he should only go up in rating i feel like this could be a decent little pickup for us, you know, the shortstop position. So I think that's only the only trade we're going to make. Um, I feel like the team's doing very well already. There's no reason to change it up too much. Um, I feel like players are progressing quite well as well. So things are going well. Let's keep it how it is. Um, Didi Gregorius being traded, I think, was just a, a move that needed to be done so that we could, you know, keep it a little bit younger avoid losing value on players so let's see how the rest of the season finishes and i'll catch you guys at the end season went amazing 162 on the year we won the division and we're taking on the indians so let's go see how everything went league leaders malik smith with triples and hits and will smith with saves so all right all righty so look gold glove for jorge polanco and will smith was the delivery man of the year 
Matt Olson, 51 homers, 129 RBIs, a 300 average. Nuts. That's a nuts season. So let's look at the team. Let's see how things went. Carlos Martinez had a rough year last year. A 5-2-6 ERA. Came back, basically halved his ERA. Went, you know, 200 innings, 15-8 and eight on the season. Amazing year. Yoni Chirinos is looking like a solid pickup as well. You know, a sub-3 ERA, a 1.2 whip. Killer numbers for sure. Marco Gonzalez, same thing. Sub-1.2 whip, 3 ERA, 16-8. and eight. Awesome. Even Yusei Kikuchi didn't have a bad year. You know, he's finally... You know, almost halved his ERA. Whip went down to 1.2. Great stuff. Gio Gonzalez for a one-year pickup. Not bad at all. Three ERA, 1.3 whip. The whip a little little high. But overall, you can't get mad at that for a one-year pickup for a pitcher who's 34 and usually decreases very quickly in a franchise. Um, our long relievers, you know, the ERA is a little high, you know, 5, 8, and 4, 6, not the best. Hoping for a little bit better. Dan Altavilla, Altavilla, however it is, his ERA is kind of high. Tui Valala, I think this is the first time I've actually had him do amazing in any of the franchises that I pick him up. And he only pitched 11 innings due to the fact that our bullpen's pretty stacked. But in those 11 innings, he killed it. Um, Gil Martin for a, a free agent pickup for a season, you know, definitely not bad. Um, maybe another one-year deal for him you know he does have arbitration why not Estevez he's up to an 80 but that ERA is really high Kelvin Herrera whoo lights out in the setup spot and then obviously he was the delivery man in the year Will Smith killed it so that that's looking good lineup wise Malik Smith is an 88 he hit 324 and had almost a 400 on base percentage while also hitting 16 homers and had 86 RBIs. Nuts. D. Gordon, he's starting to decrease. His contract's up. Ah, man, do I bring him back? He had a down year for sure. I'll have to think about that. Mitch Hanniger's up to an 88. He killed it this year, which is awesome. Ryan Healy's doing some damage. Potential's gone down, but he had an up year. So that's, that's good to see. Domingo Santana's going up as well. Um, he had a, a little bit of an up year from last season. Jorge Polanco's gone up since we acquired him. He hit it 300 on the year. His best season so far. Awesome to see that. Narvaez continues to go up as well, which is awesome to see. He hit 325. Um, usually catchers don't hit very well, so that's good to see. Um, Seji, he's only getting better, and he's been our DH, which is awesome to see. And then, I'm saying that too much. I'm saying that too much. <laughs> and then Dylan Moore is getting better. Um, as well he's he's gone up 10 overall 11 overall in two seasons that's that's like unheard of that doesn't normally happen looking at the roster let's look at our starting pitching prospects justice sheffield's a 74 so he could potentially move into that fifth spot next season danny clifford you know he's up to a 73 at 19 years old that is nuts his velocity is pretty bad and so is his control Per nines are almost at 60. That is great to see. Randall Schaefer's a 72. So our pitching prospects are looking nice. Pofs, Gilbert, um, you know, Redmond, Carlson, pitching prospects look good. We also have Festa and Gerber down here. Brennan, McKay. All right. We're looking a little good. We're looking a little good in the pitching department. It's, lo um, it's looking like the actual fielders um, are the areas where we kind of need to improve a little bit. Shed Long has hit that 70 mark. He could be a bench bat next year um maybe even start next year if we don't bring back uh d gordon outfield we have kalanick and sanchez sanchez was the guy we drafted first season you know hitting stats speed wise doesn't look too bad 21 years old so okay definitely some nice uh prospects to look out for we're taking on cleveland so let's see how the series goes uh first game we do lose second game we lost as well so all righty you know, already we're facing elimination. We're going to let... I feel like Marco Gonzalez is the pick. You know, Kikuchi's a little bit higher rated. But... I feel like with the way Gonzalez performed throughout the season, he is the man to go with a 1-2-3 inning, which isn't good. So they have Cameron, Mabin, Naquin, Jose Ramirez, Lindor, Santana Bowers, Brad Miller, Luplo, and Weeder. So not too many changes. Not too many changes. Gets us out of that jam. There we go, Gonzalez. 
and then you know we, we get a hit but unfortunately aren't able to take advantage of it all right we got a man in scoring position wasn't able to get the run in though so pretty quiet game so far bases loaded with two outs and Seji can't deliver unfortunately a double to start the inning not good sack fly brings a run home and we're down one nothing here in the sixth we always get our runners on with two outs so we're kind of like hurting ourselves you know we're kind of limiting our options our, our ability to score but um one run through seven for gonzalez can we get Malik Smith on second? D Gordon can't bring the run home. First and second for Healy. Come on, Polanco. We were we brought you in to deliver, and unfortunately, he can't. Eighth inning. It's gonna be Gonzalez's last, most likely. We're down to our last three outs of the year. And just couldn't do it. You know, hats off to both pitchers. One run between the two, a total of nine hits between the two as all. Well like that between the two as well you know we allowed three hits obviously we allowed a couple walks that probably gave them you know that that scoring opportunity but marco gonzalez eight shutout innings of three hit ball that is you i mean it was it was the hitting you know when you look at the team d gordon in 13 at bats didn't get a hit this postseason um Narvaez went cold, Ayushi went cold, Moore went cold. So half our lineup didn't really deliver in the playoffs. And that's why we got eliminated. But you know what? 100 win season. The pitching did very well. I'm optimistic for season three. Let's see who wins the postseason this year. The Indians defeat the Cubs. So at least we lost to the, the World Series winners. So let's let's get into season three. And uh, you know, I feel I'm feeling optimistic. Alrighty, for arbitration. Um Everybody was offered it, you know, they they definitely deserve it. The really only one that didn't really develop like do well was Will William Wilmer. Oh my gosh. I wanted to say William. So that's why I kept correcting myself. Wilmer Defoe um, just hit 200 on the air. Just wasn't wasn't there, you know, in terms of the average, but everybody else got one. Contracts wise, they're going to be a rookie contract, so unless they're like deep potential players, we'll definitely bring all these guys back. Alrighty, for season three, this is what we're going to look like. So you guys can see the starting rotation. The new addition here being uh, Justice Sheffield. He's going to come up from the minors. I don't think he's ready. But when you look at the rest of the lineup, I'll show you guys in a sec. Um, if, I don't think we, unless we trade somebody, I don't think we can get that fifth starter. Um, looking at the lineup, you guys are going to see the new addition of Mookie Betts. We're going to move him to second base. D Gordon's already gone down a rating, but I figured, you know what? Let's keep him for a season. Not a bad little bench bat. Um, everybody else is going to be the same. You know, the team's looking pretty solid. Um, everyone's 80 overall or higher. I don't know why Narvaez isn't. He's had two back-to-back -back killer years, um, but the team's looking really good. So looking at the starting pitching, you guys can see here, you know, we don't really have a fifth starter just yet. I mean, we do have a lot of decent looking potential like starters and stuff, but um, we don't really have that fifth starter. You know, we do have a couple farm system like farm like prospects, you know, Kalanick, David, uh, David Sanchez. We got Zhu Wei Lin, Noel V. Marte, um, Shed Long is just on the cusp of being ready to be brought up to the majors. Evan White. Um, we got Mariona Guzman, who we just drafted. We got these two guys who we just drafted. You know, you guys can see we we have some prospects, but we just don't really have that fifth starter. So I might trade for a fifth starter because I don't really know if Justice Sheffield have this has the stats to really be that starter just yet. So we'll see. If not, we're just gonna get into the season. Alrighty, so I said I was looking for that fifth starter. We found him in Kyle Freeland, three years older than Justice Sheffield, but. 16 overall actually more than that that's a lie 26 overall higher nope 16 i can't do math um 16 overall higher um this is a deal that i don't really want to do but we're in a win now mentality and this gives us the starter we have like four starting prospects who look like they could be featured within a season or two anyways so let's do it you know we're also adding Matt Dominguez, who's kind of a bench bat for us, but we can always find somebody else. We could even bring up Shed Long or Tim Lopez. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, that's that's a big trade. That's that's a good one. Alrighty, so Shed Long's gonna be moved up to the MLB. He's probably not gonna hit very well based on his stats, but this is a good looking rotation. Um, I'm looking, ex I'm really excited for this season. So let's get into it. I'll see you guys most likely at the end of this season, unless it's like a crazy, it's like something crazy happens that I gotta show you. So I'll see you guys at the end of season three. 109 and 53 is the winner like is our like our season we won nine more games than last year uh we won the division we're taking on the wild card winner let's see the league leader is domingo santana had on base plus slugging so ops um carlos martinez winning percentage and complete games and then will smith had the most saves so pretty pretty insane year pretty insane year for sure let's see the awards um, Hank aware Hank oh my god Hank Aaron for Domingo Santana gold glove for Mookie Betts and then delivery man of the year for Will Smith MVP goes to Corey Kluber 22 and 4 all right all right um he obviously is gonna and DeGrom okay yikes unreal okay so two pitchers won MVP this year so let's let's see how our team did you guys can see Carlos Martinez 18 and 2 on the year with a 265 ERA, a 1.14 whip. Pfft, what? Wins and losses aren't there for Kyle Freeland. He had a 3 ERA, 1.14 whip, so he's he really pitched really well. You say Kakuchi pitched really well. Sub 3 ERA, 108 whip. 20 and 3 on the year. Unreal. Yoni Chirinos, Chirinos, Chirinos had his roughest season since joining us, but still not too bad not too bad and marco gonzalez you know he's he's still pitching pretty well so overall very happy with the lineup our long relievers tanner scott finally kind of came down with the era um aaron bummer just not finding that stride you know had a rough season gil martin not as good as last year but you know still decent numbers tui Valala, respectable definitely you know the whip went up from last season like last year he did really well but still not too bad estevez there we go sub three era the whip's a little high so he he obviously gives up some hits but overall not too bad we brought up festa dropped out to villa and that's not too bad there kelvin herrera is starting to go down you know he can't can't keep that 196 era anymore but overall i'm still you know okay with it and will smith is just lights out even better than last year i don't even know how that's possible but he did it uh, Malik Smith hit around 280 again, which is awesome. You know, he's just con continuously getting better. So he's like a really good center fielder to pick up. Mookie Betts went down from the previous year, which sucks to see. But, you know, he's still going to be really good. Mitch Hanniger, 20 homers, 76 RBIs. A little bit from, down from last season, but still 262 is okay. Domingo Santana, um, you know, obviously I would like it to be like 270, 280. But this is, it's it's all right, you know. It's perfectly fine. Obviously, we had got production somewhere else. Most likely, probably from this guy, Domingo Santana. 327 average, 425 on base percentage. Killer numbers. Um, Seji, 85 overall. He had 105 RBIs. Pfft, unreal. Jorge Polanco's been going up. He hit even better than he did last season um, in terms of average. Narvaez hit around 300 again. You know, one of the better hitting catchers. Ryan Healy rough year in terms of average and on base percentage pretty similar in run production and dylan moore is up to an 83 he has a potential so to think that he was in he was under a 70 overall what when we started this he's definitely making some strides shed long hit 154 is expected you know i don't expect him to hit the ball well he's up to a 72 though um it looks like things are going well looking at the prospects you know 76 75 74 um 74 jesus you know logan i think was like a 58 at the start of the season so he's going up too out is higher than festa now so oh well it happens but we still got some pitching prospects you know pedro t's 72 overall jeez like so we got Doming or guzman not dominguez guzman is up to a 68 after a season we still got these two guys down there um shed long 72 all right um zue lin is a 70 now most likely a trade piece. Uh, Noel V. Marte, 65. Our center fielders, we, we, we're set. You know, we got Lewis, we got uh, David Sanchez, Kalanick, and then we got Rodriguez there. So the team for the future is looking really good. You guys can see here, 
we were the the best team in the majors you know the indians are not too far behind us either so let's let's get into it this is definitely going to be a good um postseason i'm hoping we're taking on the angels and uh it's coming down to the last game which always i feel like whenever we're like the best team in baseball nothing goes right so we're gonna we're gonna put carlos martinez on the mound we need him to pitch well let's get into it so pretty quiet quiet game so far um especially for us you know one two base runners okay first and second two outs three run bomb by mookie Betts. mike trout goes deep but you guys can see david peralta and avisail garcia uh josh reddick chad pinder okay so some changes to this angels lineup for sure but um come on martinez no can't allow that we do get out of it but it's a tie game Oh, I see Starling Castro as well, so a new addition there. <sighs> All right, so seven innings is... Uh, it's not even going to be seven. So we're in the seventh. We need to get out of this. Who's up to the plate? A lefty bummer gets us out of the bases loaded jam. So... Uh, man, this is, this is tough because, you know, eighth it. Josh... Reddick, you suck. All right, guys, we need a run. We get a walk. Okay, that's a good start. First and second, Dylan Moore, double play. Awesome. That's not, this is not good. What is going on with the team? All right, we're down to bottom nine. We get the get the guy on first. Takes second, a pop-up. Come on, guys, base. All right, first and second, one out. Second and third, Seji, can you keep our season alive? And you can't. Like I said, guys, it's always it's always the season when we're the best team in baseball. The Pirates defeat the Indians. Whoa. Okay. So it's always the season when we're like the best in baseball. That we just can't make it past the first round. But you know what? I've really liked this team. I see it being a team that's going to compete year in and year out for the foreseeable future. You know, a lot of young guys, you know, mid to late 20s. Um, the pitching staff is going to be nuts for the future. Um, probably could do a little bit better in the bullpen, but the starters you don't have to worry about. Um, you got you got center field outfielders lined up for the future as well. So this team is looking really good. And to be honest, I like the team. I like the team a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Mariners rebuild. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get farther with them, um, which is unfortunate. So again, guys, um, down below there is that poll. Go make sure you vote for it. Let me know what you guys think about longer rebuilds. Um, I definitely want to maybe I like I'll definitely consider it. So let me know in the comment section down below. Um, also go to that poll. I'll make sure it's pinned this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.